Hey everyone, I'm Eric Marine. Welcome back to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. We just got done watching the live trailer for Streets, if you will, and it, it's so much more than a trailer for Streets. Uh, they showed some very, if you're keen eyed, and I, I guarantee I didn't see everything. I watched it with chat. Those guys pointed out stuff I didn't see, but I guarantee you that there's stuff I've missed. So by all no means is this, by no means is this all comprehensive. Um, but there's some really key points I want to talk about in here, uh, as far as destructible and interactable environments, if you will, uh, vehicles, scav bosses. Um, we saw stuff with the ACOG scope. Uh, and I think some of the scav boss stuff, as well as maybe the entrance to labs, it's kind of hard to tell. It could just be another parking garage, but we'll, uh, we'll play the, we'll play the whole video here for you to watch if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, then I'll cut back in and we'll do some talking about it. So we'll see you in a sec. So you can go back and watch this a couple of times, however you want to watch it. But obviously a vehicle, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Not only that, if you watch closely, you can see the turret actually spin towards you. There's some physics with the vehicle with suspension and stuff. So this isn't just like some box that slides in and has no animation to it. It looks like that gun might be able to shoot at you, which is really going to suck. Uh, as one of the guys in chat said, it's, uh, it's penetration is fuck you. Or no, go fuck, and it's damage is yourself. Because this is this is bad. This is bad for you if you run into it. I'm assuming this is a scav boss um, and some of his minions. I think there's supposed to be three on streets, three scav bosses all together. But this guy doesn't have a helmet. You know, it's kind of that scav boss motif where they look different than their minions. So I'm wondering if this is a scav boss and everything else is it going on. But this is going to be insane when you're just rolling around streets and an ACPC rolls up and a bunch of dudes jump off of it and... Yeah, I mean, what do you do? This scene and a couple others, they get into some destructive environments and not so much like the wall destructive environment, but specifically right here, as he's shooting this guy, you see the monitor fly off the desk. That doesn't happen in anything else in Tarkov to this point. Now, is this going to come to all of the maps or is it just going to be part of streets? I suspect it's just going to be part of streets. And if you think about the progression of maps and the different things that are installed in different maps, think about reserve, right? In the bushes and reserve, you can't crawl through bushes. You can't lay, I don't think you even lay down in them. But if you're you're crawling, you can't crawl through them and they instantly stop you from running if you hit them. So there's different effects on different maps. Um, so I don't think this is going to come to every map. It's going to be streets until they, you know, they get further down and can finalize everything. 
but this isn't it you know in the next scene here and we'll play forward to that so and this is the second spot if you watch here right in the corner um i'll highlight you watch right here when this grenade goes off you're gonna see stuff move and get out of the way that's totally new and that that's in that's so much more immersion it's gonna be so cool with stuff like that so we'll watch it real quick again so you see that that grenade blows up boxes move shit like that that's that's pretty intense all right so here's one of the other things that i really really noticed because in real i have an acog in real life and i love the site it's a fantastic site but in tarkov right now it is absolute trash it's impossible to use um you, you just can't use it not and be effective in any sense this looks completely different now i can't tell if this is just because they have the field of view and they have it blown up so much or if this is because of the new scope rework that they've been talking about i think this is the scope rework if this is what the optics look like when you zoom in using an acog this is doable i can do this all day long i think this looks really 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 good uh, and i'm super excited for it because i i really wish the acogs were more viable because they are an awesome optic and they've got a lot of utility and uh yeah like i said i have one in real life so i like it'd be cool to be able to use it in the game so hopefully this is this is a sign of things to come which i think it is but i mean like this is actually the scope rework and not just something that i'm not seeing here so this is kind of the building that gets the most attention in the 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 whole teaser here right you got the little uh playground and all the stuff and and based on what you can see inside most of the building is the concordia or however you say that I'm, I'm assuming i'm saying it right so we've seen them all the way up to the sixth floor of this building which is right here so it's gonna be interesting if you can access these other floors um you know up here maybe access the roof who knows but it just shows you the level of detail how much there's going to be space wise in this and how big it's going to be um i know there's a big pedestal there's a lot of stuff that bsg has done here and i hope it doesn't end up hurting them in the long run but everything i saw here was super exciting super exciting to me so that'll be interesting to see one other thing we noticed looking through this is all the different room numbers you know and they've talked about how big streets is going to be and how the buildings are going to be accessible I mean, we've seen numbers 35, seven, you got room 66 here and and whatever this, I mean, this is an absurd door. Look at this. It's got fucking four locks on it. Assuming that lock, maybe that doesn't lock, but three locks. And that's like a triple deadbolt. This is a stay the fuck out door, whether you're inside or outside. Nonetheless, this is a beefy door. I, I, maybe stuff like that's normally like that in Russia. I don't know. Nonetheless, uh, 66 means probably the sixth floor. Not, um, not for sure. I guess numbering could be weird, but everywhere I've ever been, you know, six, the numbers indicate the floor number. So lots of levels to go up and lots of ways to get up high and move stuff. We didn't really see anything in the trailer where we saw people up at six floors shooting out, but we definitely saw second and third floor engagements of people. So it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be absolutely huge. One thing about streets is um, Nikita said it's gonna be an entrance, entrance to labs. Now, I don't know if this is an entrance to labs. It would make sense to me because when you think about labs, right, you've got the two parking garages, the entrance bay and the parking garage, whatever you want to call it, where cars literally drive in big box trucks, vehicles. And the best if you have a super top secret facility that you're going to be doing that on, you would think you would need a way to access that and it's something that's hidden. So it's not going to look weird for cars to come and go out of a parking garage, but you could get them into a kind of a hidden area of the parking garage and go down from there. And we've seen a couple of scenes of this, you know, this little red door here above my head. Um, they've walked up to that in other parts of this. So I'm wondering if this is how, you know, this is part of the entrance and extra exit to lab is through the loading bay or through the parking garage. Uh, and this is where it's going to, how they're going to do it on streets, or if it's going to be some kind of secret entrance into one of the apartments in the buildings, you know, who knows, but uh, just something cool to think about uh, the entrance and kind of excited to see how they implement it. Here's where one of the more crazy things that happened um, in this, uh, aside from the AACPC, but one of the more crazy things that happened is when this wall gets breached here. Now, looking at this, it doesn't look like it's a complete destructible environment, right? Like this is a weak spot in the wall. You can see it in here. If you look in real close, you can see this is kind of a weak spot. And what's cool about this is you're gonna get two perspectives of this. You're gonna get a perspective of both sides of the wall as this grenade goes off. And this could be special effects cutting and things like that it might not be the exact deal. But the point being is you see a grenade go off on one side and the wall come in on the other. So we'll watch it here real quick again. So right there, the grenade blows up and you see the wall come in, right? And people come through the wall. So now you've got a new way to breach and get through things. Now it's going to be limited, obviously, because of, um, you know, there's only going to be specific spots you can do this in. 
but it does add a lot of dynamics to the game, especially when people are like, imagine on dorms, if you could blow a hole in the floor or something like that for somebody camping in Mark Room or, you know, camping in L and all the different ways you can get around. This just makes fights so much more dynamic and so much more fun. So I think this is going to be insanely cool. And the places they can go with this and the different things they can do, it just shows you how broad and how big picture BSG is thinking of stuff. They're not trying to stay in their little box of their game that they've got created right now. I mean, they're bringing stuff like destructible environments in. This is awesome. This is awesome. So I'm really tickled that they showed this, uh, this stuff to us as a tease. Anybody who plays Tarkov picked up on so much stuff that like, wait, what? Especially, I mean, I literally had goosebumps watching this live when it got done. When that AACPC rolled in, I was like, holy shit. So that's kind of where we're at. Super exciting. Uh, again, you can go watch the video. We'll throw up links once they have it somewhere else other than the live in the description. Um, so you can watch it for yourself in a little bit higher resolution. Well, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps out the channel a bunch. And subscribe for future content. We also have a Discord, links down in the description, that you can come join. We're filling up with a bunch of chill people who just love to play Tarkov. If you're looking to support the channel in other ways, we've launched a Patreon with some benefits like access to a Discord channel, a constantly updated spreadsheet for my hideout calculations, and some other things if you want to go check it out over there. Lastly, thanks for your support on YouTube. It means the world to me and I greatly appreciate every one of you. So with that, we'll wrap up up 